Diversity Awareness Partnership works to provide education about diversity and inclusion. Joining us now is Director of Diversity Training, Kenneth J. Pruitt. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, so it's great to have you in studio. It's been a while actually since I've uh, had the opportunity to talk to someone from Diversity Awareness Partnership. Yes. I think a great way to start this off might be to refresh people listening, watching this, what Diversity Awareness Partnership is and what it does in the St. Louis community. Sure, so DAP has been around for about 17 years now. Um, our mission is to be a catalyst to uh, increase awareness, facilitate engagement, and provide education about diversity and inclusion. That takes the form of kind of three different uh, buckets or categories. One is education and training. That's what I'm responsible for doing. Going around to different organizations, having those difficult conversations um, privately, but then also doing, uh, providing opportunities for the public to engage in this conversation. We also have a lot of programs that we do for middle school and high school people and get them connected with adults to get comfortable with these conversations as well. Uh, and then we also have a group of things that we do, initiatives that are uh, more publicly facing. So um, we'll talk about it in a moment, but we have our big uh, annual summit coming up on June 6th to really uh, engage folks throughout the region mm -hmm. and practitioners who do this sort of work mm -hmm. to uh, gain resources and just network with each other. In the work that you do, I mean, it's it's like we speak the same language, right? But it's so difficult to really facilitate discussion when it comes to diversity, race, religion. Sure. We're on one end sort of recognizing our differences, but trying to find that commonality and right. shared experiences and, and empathy and understanding. Right. Talk about how, I mean, and you're the one facilitating this. I mean, sure. how, how do you do that? I think you do it very carefully. Mm -hmm. And I think you try to engage everybody in the conversation where they're at. Um, when I try to do my work, I see myself as a facilitator. That's how we talk about ourselves. I'm not the leader. I'm not the one dumping information into your head. I'm here to provide a space where we can have um, a safe conversation and perhaps disagree well. So I think it's really um, continuing to open the door wider and wider for more voices to get practice at having these kinds of conversations. When you talked about the sort of three areas that you cover, let's kind of kind of zero in sure. on in the workplace. What mm -hmm. are some examples of what that might entail when you're going into, whether it's a small nonprofit or if it's a big corporation yeah. in terms of training? What might that be like? What you should or shouldn't say or how sure. you, what are those sort of scenarios that you're talking about? Yeah, I would say the two trainings that we do most often these days are what we just call diversity and inclusion, the basics. Mm -hmm. So really just providing everybody in that organization with uh, the same level of knowledge, understanding, vocabulary to mm -hmm. talk about this stuff because words and terms we use around this stuff changes all the time. Yes. Um, and then I also really like to hone in on the entire kind of employee development process. Mm -hmm. So a lot of organizations really uh, tend to focus in on the hiring process and making that more equitable. But we also have to be working on creating systems and structures within those organizations so that um, the people who weren't there previously or who were, who were underrepresented previously actually have a safe place and a, a mm. place where they can thrive at work and continue to stay with the company for years. And then how might that differ, obviously from employment, but when you focus on the schools, what are you yeah. kind of, what kind, those are obviously a different set of topics. Sure. What that, might that look like? Schools are tricky because they, there are so many potential constituents involved. Mm -hmm. So you have the students, um, that's where our programs come into play. Uh, we also have, you also have your teachers who need to learn how to create equitable classrooms. Um, but then you also have staff, you have donors, you have alumni, so really figuring out uh, where the strengths are in the community and kind of building on those. And again, it's just, it's so multifaceted, it can feel like a big project. Mm -hmm. I've noticed you use the term equitable, and I, mm -hmm. I see the difference now when we talk about equity yeah. versus equality. Right. Do you want to expand upon that? Because I think a lot of people are kind of confused about that, because as you mentioned, yeah. there is that change in sort of right. language that we use. Exactly. Yeah, I think for a long time in diversity awareness partnership, obviously we're named after a kind of that uh, that impetus, but increasingly I think you'll hear the term DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, we think about equality as giving everybody uh, the same thing, right? Uh, equity, is, equity is a little bit different in making sure that um, people get what they need, which may be different than the person next to them, right? Um, it's a little subtle difference, but it does make all the difference when trying to create an equitable organization. <laughs> You've explained that so so well, but it it's continues to come up because there is a changing language always, right. I think, when you're talking about this. We're going to take a quick break, but for, we've got information there for you on the screen to reach out to Diversity Awareness Partnership. Learn more about what they do, or if you'd like them to come to your business or to your school, you can get more information at DAPSTL.org. But don't go anywhere. We're going to learn, uh, learn about some events coming up with the Diversity Awareness Partnership right after this. Stay with us.